Ouch, you son of a bitch! No! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it there. You never pay attention to the way you leave things. How you doing, Doug? Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder, 
It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee? Do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! Bueno gente, pues acabamos de ver el final del primer capítulo de la primera temporada de The Walking Dead. Espero que hasta ahora os haya gustado. Eh, deciros que el segundo capítulo intentaré subir los vídeos cuanto antes, ¿vale? Si aparece ya el enlace al siguiente vídeo, es que ya lo habré subido, pero si no está el enlace aún, pues lo he dicho, intentaré subirlo cuanto antes. En cuanto estén los vídeos preparados, pondré aquí el enlace, ¿vale? Para continuar vuestra historia con las decisiones que habéis tomado hasta ahora... Acordaros de guardar el enlace de este vídeo y desde aquí podréis acceder al enlace del siguiente. O acordaros de que el, el primer vídeo de la siguiente temporada, en el título, la temporada no, el capítulo, en el título pondrá capítulo 2, 
parte 1 y entre paréntesis pondrá una G, ¿vale? Una letra G, que es con el que continuaréis con, lo, con las decisiones que habéis tenido hasta ahora, ¿vale? Pues nada, pues espero que os haya gustado y muchas gracias y nos vemos en el segundo capítulo. Hasta otra.